to thrive in the environments beef producers have created for cattle, they must have access to basic health and welfare. Among them, the ability to perform natural behaviors. Whether that's, you know, standing, lying, playing, um, seeking shade, I think there's a lot of opportunities for the animal to, to do those things in the facilities we currently have. Um, they overlap with production. In a recent literature review, Edwards Calloway and her team uncovered the impacts of shade on beef cattle well-being. Packing plants generally for fed cattle don't provide shade um, in the holding pens. They aren't there very long. Um, that is certainly true. I mean, it's it's not comparable to animals being raised in that environment. It's a couple hours, several hours. But the thing I, I would say is that if it's hot, it's hot there. Um, and the pen densities are such that there might not be as much opportunity for those animals to dissipate heat. So I think um, there's opportunity in that space to kind of look at would that kind of right before slaughter um, dissipation of heat load have any impacts on well-being. Shade benefits vary by location, structure type, and the weather. Where more heat occurs, more shade is necessary. Know your environment and be prepared. The, the feedlots and the cow-cow producers, um, they do have more um, they're more invested in, in shade and what that can mean for them. But the areas that maybe don't have consistent heat loads or high heat loads, um, they need to just be aware of what could come and be prepared for such events. Weather fluctuation affects final carcass quality too. But Clark says the extent of mild and severe weather change varies. More predictably, extreme heat brings high mortality. If you're trying to gain every bit of high quality beef that you can, then you probably do need to think about um, then adding in some shade to protect protecting the cattle um, when there is some sort of a, an environmental anomaly. Addressing basic health and production factors ensure cattle perform to their highest potential. We think about shade structures. I'm sure that producers have come up with a lot of innovative, cost-effective, um, effective in terms of improving animal performance ways uh, to shade cattle. And so I think there's a great need to kind of really dig a little deeper and understand that. I'm Bob Cervera.